Welcome back to Studio 10. Brock Fletcher from the selling team with Keller Williams Realty joins us. Not out on the cold weather patio That's today, right. so yeah. So honored. We're inside. <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right, so the real estate market through the summer, of course, it was hot. It was on fire, and I think people kind of thought as we moved closer to the fall that it would slow down a little bit. But what's, what's the status? Is it still booming? It is, and it did slow down just a little bit. In the, in the late summer, and I think it was just people getting in their last minute vacations, but mm -hmm. since Labor Day, it's been really busy. The inventory is still super low, and the buyers are have really been out there in full force over since since the Labor Day holiday. It's been really busy. So still uh, buyers, I mean, they're, they're coming out of the woodworks trying to find houses. A lot of buyers. I don't know if it's fear-driven because interest rates are so low, and of course we're experiencing some inflation and, and perhaps some fear that interest rates might come up, but but uh, the buyers have been very active. Now, are they being pickier these days, buyers, or, or not? Um, I'm not feeling that. <laughs> okay, all right. Um, and certainly they shouldn't be feeling it really because it's so competitive. Um, but here's the reality. If a buyer finds a house and it represents 75 or 80 percent of what they're looking for, mm -hmm. that's probably the house for them. Yeah. If it doesn't, then they probably haven't found the right one. Okay. Yeah. And we're seeing some video too. I mean, the key is too, if you're planning on selling your house, you want to go with a realtor who will take great visuals like this. So you're, you know, you're showing the best elements of your house, right? Oh yeah, yeah. Um, we we picked up a new client yesterday that. Um, had fired their old agent because of their poor photography. Oh, so, really? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's so a big deal. It is a big deal because yeah. a lot of people are checking this stuff out online, you know, so they want, you know, they want to get a good view of the neighborhood and the surrounding areas. Do you have any tips for buyers right now on how they still can get a good price, a fair price on a house? Yeah, so um, the, the key to getting, a, if you want to make it easy, write the cleanest offer you can. Mm -hmm. So what I mean by that is, don't put in a lot of extra weird things within okay. your offer. Keep it really simple. Write for a great price. Uh, put in just a normal inspection contingency period. Um, don't put anything weird or unusual into the offer. Okay. Put a good, uh, put a, a really generous good faith deposit in the offer. Don't ask for anything weird. You're <laughs> you're not in a position of leverage. Okay. So, what, well, what what is an example of something weird to, to you? I mean, uh, is there? Do you have an example? Like all the walls have to be painted blue before we move in, or something or, or like that? Or you write an offer and you say, you know, I want the lawnmower, the the oh, um, okay. the snowblower, all the yard equipment. Okay. You know. Just weird stuff. Don't, don't do that. Don't do weird things. Okay. Do normal All things. Right. You heard it here first. Yep. Stop doing weird things. Um, well, another thing, too, is, and we've never talked about this, but you guys are hiring, right? We are, yeah. We're, um, in all honesty, this has been the most stressful year in real estate for me because we've been so busy and we need so many great, talented people on our team that we really are hiring. We, we need to attract great people to to my team. Okay, yep. so if people are looking at getting a job with you, do they need experience? Are you looking for people with experience and people without experience? Yeah, um, so what I'm looking for is uh, integrity, mm -hmm. hard work ethic, and a good cultural fit for our team, meaning we have a team of 17 people, mm -hmm. and uh, I protect that culture. You know, that's the most important thing. I've got 17 people that have signed up to to have be a part of my life essentially. Right. And I've got to make sure that whoever we bring on is a good team player. So they do not need previous real estate experience. Okay. They just need to be a hard worker and have a passion for helping people. All right, and, and you know, be willing to be part of the family. Be, yep, gotta be part of the family. And work yep. long hours. Well, yes, yeah, there's some of that too. But a little bit of that. There, it is a great career, Yeah. you know, if you stick with it. Yep. Okay, so. now is there, they, so they have to do the licensing and all of that stuff to become a real estate agent, though they need to keep that in mind. Yep, if you're gonna become a real estate agent on our team, you have to be licensed, of course, but we actually have, um, we have other positions available on the team that are not agent positions. So if you like to help people and you're just looking for a great career, mm -hmm. still reach out to me because we may have a non-agent position on the team that could be a good fit for you as well. And you're talking, I mean, some of those, like we talked about earlier, the video and the photography, there's yep. a lot of different elements that, that come into play when you were talking real estate. 
Oh yeah, we have got our concierge team that are, they're non-licensed. We've got Micah, who's our awesome photographer, but he's not licensed. Okay. I mean, there are a bunch of positions on our team that are not licensed agent positions. All right, well, of course, yeah. we've got to ask you then if they've got any housing questions and if they're looking for a job, you always share your cell phone number. So yep. what's that number? It's 517-303-3262. It's the best way to get me. Okay, so. all right, very good. Well, thank you for stopping into the studio today. Thank you. All right, stick around. We've got more fun coming up on Studio 10.